So welcome back to the channel and what I'm going to do today is produce a short video just to show you how to fit one of these um, gas slow uh, changeover gauges and what this will actually do it will allow you to have two gas bottles running off the same regulator and it's also got a gauge on there which will tell you the pressure that's in your particular tank that you're on and also what it'll do as well is detect leaks for you as well. So you can do that when you arrive on the campsite, you can check for leaks. Now what it does actually say on the back, two good reasons why you need a gas flow. So if you ever run out of gas, yes, you may have noticed it always seems to be at the worst time. It's either raining in the middle of the night or both. Yeah, and that does tend to happen. So with this, it just makes it a little bit easier in the fact that you just go and uh, turn one gas bottle off and the other one on and you know then to look out for a, a new gas bottle. Uh, it looks fairly straightforward to fit. So in the gas locker is your Truma regulator and what will be, this will just connect to it and then you've got another pigtail. So you've got two hoses run into two bottles. So saving you having to change that over. So open it and uh, have a look and see what it actually looks like out of the box. These are about, 22 pound um, as well which is pretty good so that's what it actually looks like and as you can see that bit there will connect to your uh, existing Truma regulator and then these two bits here that'll connect to your um, your two pigtails so you can run two gas bottles so that'll connect to there like so and then Obviously, that will go to your gas bottle. So, uh, we'll have a look at that now and uh, go ahead and fit it. So, having uh, looked at this, it's actually going to be too close to the top when that's on there, which is going to fit on there. It's actually going to be too close and I could angle it off, but it's still going to touch on there. And I suppose over time it could rub with a movement of the van so I've had to get an adapter which I shall show you now which should do the trick and that's this little bit of kit here which means I can screw that on there and move it around to the best position really so I've had to buy that which was an extra £10 unfortunately from Gaslow but uh, and that's a W20 adapter right angle, but I'll do the job anyway. So the first thing to do is obviously make sure the gas is off, which it is, and then take off this connector. Yeah. that off so that's the first bit of it connected up and that seems to be the best way to do it it's upside down but you can still read it um, so you can tell now by looking at it that you can still only have one bottle attached if you want because there's obviously a non-return on there so it won't it won't go through so here's the uh, valve installed so what it really does, so from the original, so you can now obviously see that there's two bottles connected. So, but also what it's really good for, probably more than actually telling you how much is in your bottle, what it's really good for is what you actually do when you arrive on site, you open one of the bottles like this and you'll see the indicator on the gauge has gone to green because that's pressurized it up so what you then do to test that there's not a leak you've pressurized it up you then close the gas bottle back off and then leave it for 10 minutes and in 10 minutes time if it's still showing green like that because the system's pressurized it means you haven't got a leak and it's always a good idea to do that when you arrive on site because um, Obviously, you know, when things move around, there's always a possibility. 
unlikely, but it's just a, a fail-safe check. But again, the other thing it can do is tell you how much gas, or give you a rough idea of how much gas is in your cylinder. Now, the way it does that, and the best way to do it, really, is to actually have whatever you're using running. So if you've got your heating on, uh, and that's been on for at least 10, 15 minutes, you can come and have a look at the, the uh, gas flow uh, regulator gauge, and it will show you roughly It'll give you an idea of the pressure and how much gas is in there. Uh, it's not very accurate if you haven't got, you know, the, the appliance running really. But the, what I find it most useful for really is, is a leak detector and the fact that it's it's got a branch off both ways. So you can have two gas bottles attached at the same time. And that's how I find it useful. As you can see, I've got my, uh, my um, safe fill bottle on there. Uh, and then when that runs out, I then go to this one, which is my 6kg caller, and that's just a backup so that I know then to go and fill the uh, the safe fill one up. So uh, that's it. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now. Bye.